Let's talk about the graphing options when you're doing simulations over time. You can graph one attribute for one element. In this example, we're looking at a catchment and we're looking at its flow variation over a 24 hour period. You can also compare the same attribute so here's the same catchment for the same 24 hours. But we're comparing the flow for the 10 year versus the 100 year storm events. Notice that I've made this drawing to be three dimensional. You have very many options in the graph and we'll take a look at that in a moment. You can also compare the attributes for several elements. So I am still looking at flow over time, but now I'm looking at catchments 1A, 2, and 3 for the same scenario. You could also compare it for several different scenarios. As far as graphing, there is another option which is called Quick Graph. This is a window that you can always have open so that anytime you click on an element, you can very quickly see the most commonly graphed attributes upon selection. And finally, we're going to take a look at how we can record animations. So let's take a look in the software. Okay, so this is uh, Sewer Gems, but graphing applies the same for all the OpenFlows products. So for graphing, you can select any element. Uh, in this case, I'm selecting a catchment. Right click and select graph. Here you get to select which scenarios you want to display results for. Um, the elements that show up here is what you had on your selection. In this case, I only had one catchment, but if you want to compare multiple elements, you just have to select them. And then you choose which attributes you want to display. In this case, I'm going to only show flow and precipitation for one catchment over two different scenarios. Now, if you'd like to change the way your chart is being displayed, you can go to chart options and here you can change individually colors. For example, I will select um, an orange color for this attribute and you can see how that change took place. Um, here's where you can also select from predefined themes if you want things to look a little bit differently. Um, you could also Turn your graph into a three-dimensional graph, and then you can change colors, etc. It's very customizable. You can change background colors, axis, etc. Um, if you're satisfied with the chart, you can save it and just open it anytime you want. Uh, if you want to change the data that you're displaying, you can do that by going to Series Options which brings you back to this um, first dialog. So I'm going to select only flow. And if this is the graph that I want, I can save it. Um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always restore the factory default chart options. Or if you actually really like the way it looks and you want all your graphs to look the same way, you can save the chart options as default. Um, I'm going to restore the factory default chart options for this case. And then I'm going to add to the graph manager and I'm going to say catchment. Once you save your graph, you, you may close it. And if you go back to graphs, you're going to be able to um, open any graphs that you have saved from before. Another choice that you have is to have the quick graph 
uh, always available. You notice that if you do that, anytime I select a new element, in this case a new catchment, it automatically graphs the most common fields, in this case flow, or I could choose also precipitation. Notice if I select a pond, um, it has other options as well. And finally, if you want to, um, let's say we're going to take a look at one of our profiles uh, for this area here. It's a long profile, but it's okay. I'm going to uh, get rid of the annotation table just to make it a little bit easier on us. And to make the recording, we go to the Time Browser and click Record Animation. I'm going to select the area that interests me, or you can do a full screen. And you simply hit Record. It'll start the animation from the beginning, but if you want to speed it up, you may slide this. And when you're done with the recording, you may click Stop Recording. It generates an AVI file that you can then save and share with others. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.